Now for the long awaited where is that video. We're gonna be covering where Ventura is, what it has to offer, and to show you a ton of maps. Ventura is the westernmost city in Ventura County. Ventura lies at the intersection of three main highways. There's the Highway 101, which will take you to Santa Barbara and to Los Angeles. There's Highway 33, it will take you up into the mountains to the beautiful city of Ojai. And there's the 126 that will go from Santa Paula to Fillmore to Santa Clarita. Even though it's easy access to all of these different places, it is California, so it does take a little bit of time. Um, during non-rush hour, it might take you a half an hour from Ventura up to Santa Barbara, but we've been in traffic and it's taken us about an hour to an hour and a half sometimes. And then to LA from Ventura, you're looking at sometimes two hours. And then even to get up, up and back from Ojai, sometimes that's a two lane road, mountain road, it can get really congested. Ventura is accessible to so many fantastic beaches as you head northwest out of town on Highway 101. You have Emma Wood State Beach. And we love going there. And actually there are ground squirrels that live in the rocks and you can kind of feed them and people kind of just sit out there and watch people go surfing. Yeah, people like to just park along the road there and you can just sit, hang on your car right next to the ocean and have amazing views. And of course it, it is a real surfer's destination as well. And as you keep going, you have Mondo's Beach, which is known as well for being a better beginning surf spot. And as you go a little further, even to Rincon State Beach, that has to be one of the most beautiful beaches in Southern California. Yeah, we, we would vote for that. <laughs> <laughs> and then of course you can't forget Surfer's Point right in the heart of Ventura, in the city there. There's the boardwalk and the pier and amazing surfing and people going up and down on their bikes and their skateboards and dogs. It's a scene, so for people watching too, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, we have a lot of videos and shorts that showcase that area because it's just a happening spot. Yeah. And then there's also, as you go east, you have the Marina Park, and it's a really large park where people just go and they play and they have picnics and play with their dogs, and there's yoga in the park there. It has a pirate ship for kids to play on, barbecues, volleyball courts. It's your ultimate hangout spot. And people will go walking on the beach and everything. It's we feel that the beach walking isn't as nice as in Oxnard where the beaches are a little wider and longer stretches, but it's still, it's really nice. You yeah, see? there's a lot of people walking down mm -hmm. there too. Yeah, and during the off season, um, during the week, the parking there is free. And then as you go further, oh, over in this little section, uh, we've seen people um, fishing and... Uh, there's a public access dock right there for your paddleboard or your kayak. You can walk right down the launch. <laughs> <laughs> so then going further down, we have the harbor. There's really only two main harbors in Ventura County. There's the Channel Islands Harbor down in Oxnard and Ventura Harbor, and they have the largest liveaboard population. There's also uh, a long stretch of road all along that harbor way there. So there's lots of parking. There's a walking trail that goes along the harbor. So it's just beautiful to walk there and look at all the boats and yachts. And it's really pretty. Mm -hmm. And just going and again, you can, this is the Harbor Cove Beach is a swim beach. It's the best swim spot in Ventura County. I'll just mm -hmm. say it's better than the swim beach in Oxnard. It's always clean and it's a really big stretch of beach there that you can walk down to. People, you know, just go to hang on the beach, but also there's a lot of people like to swim there. Mm -hmm. Paddleboard. And we've seen people come out um, in the swim beach and go around to go surfing, which is really good on the other side. Mm -hmm. and it's free parking there. And when we've gone out there during the Biolucent Bay times, mm -hmm. you just go in the water and it, it, it shines, it like yeah. glows. 
And another thing is you can just, if you, you get thirsty or anything else, you just run across the street and they have the um, Harbor Village. And then there are tons of shops over there in the Harbor. I mean, you could go to a comedy restaurant, um, go shopping, visit one of the art galleries, clothing stores, restaurants. And it's just a happening place. They also have festivals like Sidewalk Chalk Art Festival yeah. and- Live music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And then at the very southern end of the harbor there, you have access once again to a great beachfront. There's a state beach park there and you can just walk for miles and miles and there's no one there. If you want to be off on your own, that's the place to do it. <laughs> One of the borders for Ventura is the Santa Clara Riverbed. And there's you're gonna see a lot of unincorporated Ventura County around Ventura. Another unincorporated part of Ventura is Casita Springs, home to Johnny Cash at one point. It's, it has a real small town feel. It feels really separate from Ventura. And if you weren't from the area, you might think it's part of Oakview, which is- But the... don't say it's part of Oakview because <laughs> you will get in trouble. Yeah, people won't like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but anyway, it's on the way to Ojai and it's very, it's has, has its own flavor there. It feels like a real small town. It is considered part of Ventura. So if you move there, your um, address might say Ventura instead of like, Casita Springs. As you're traveling up on 101, you're going to see a band of um, homes that are situated basically on the ocean. Like you will walk out that back door and you will see dolphins and everything and your backyard is your patio and a bunch of rocks and you are right there. It, it's just breathtaking and those are custom homes. It's part of unincorporated Ventura, but feels totally different. And then you go further up the 101. One of the things also, um, there is a bike ride, this whole, right? Yep, there's, there's a, a biking trail all the way up the coast there. It's amazing. Yeah, and there's also a biking trail all the way from Ventura up to uh, Ojai too. Uh, so you keep traveling up and over to La Conchita. And La Conchita is also a small little community. The homes there are a mixture of different manufactured homes and custom homes. And you have these beautiful views also of the ocean. And they made it so you can take a little tunnel underneath the highway and get to your own kind of secluded little beach that not many people know about. And the surfing's not amazing considering Rincon Beach. However, it's just you and there's people who are fishing and you'll probably only see about 10 people on the beach at, the, at a time. Yeah. There are a couple of negatives like you're in a mudslide zone and also there's only one direction you can get into it so how to so when you're traveling up here on the 101 you have an exit and you can get on into La Conchita and then if you're leaving you have to go all the way up to the next exit over here on Rincon State Beach area, and then travel back to get to Ventura. If you haven't been to Ventura before, when you visit, this is worth your time to do this drive because it is breathtaking. Yes. <laughs> or take your bike. That is Rincon. so popular. There's bike yeah. stores in town that will rent you your bike and you can just go for the day. Ventura doesn't just have like beach, it also has 48 parks and some of those parks are absolutely exceptional like there's the memorial park where you have the view of the ocean and of the city skyline and then one of our personal favorites is arroyo verde park which is just fantastic for hiking and there's currently so many wildflowers there it's like a wildflower jungle amazing hiking and so many people go there to play with their dogs and also to um, have picnics and their playground is accessible to everybody and it's brand new and has you'll hear kids playing um, musical instruments on it and there's also a baseball field there it's everything when we were there the last time there was a group that was practicing Irish music it is very popular yeah. if you're gonna go I recommend going on a weekday you don't have to pay for parking and then it's just super packed on the weekends right and there are tons of other parks that you're just going to always see people at inventory People love to be outdoors there. Mm -hmm. I, one of our clients is talking about, you don't need a big house when you live in Ventura because you're not going to be in as much. Then the Botanical Gardens is another oh, right. must-see spot and just 
fantastic array of plants that's on the mountain as well. And as you hike up there, you're gonna have incredible views of the city of below and the ocean and it is magical. It kind of blends into the Sarah Cross where you have the best views of the whole city when the sun is setting and rising. It's a destination spot. It is breathtaking. And speaking about that, there's also a lot of historical sites throughout all of Ventura. And one of the things they have a committee doing right now is studying all of Ventura to see which homes are historical. We cover some of that in our downtown home section on, on Ventura where you get to see some of those classic, beautiful old homes. Ventura also has put together a historical walking tour. You have the Mission. Oh, that's right. Right down along the pedestrian mall, right in the downtown area there. And then you also have City Hall. You go there and you can look down all the way through downtown on Ventura to the ocean. Yeah, for more things for more things to do in that downtown area, we have a separate video on that. We'll put a link at the end. One of the reasons we're doing this video is our clients are asking, so how far are things from different areas? We just can't get a picture. Everything is not dis everything's disconnected. So that's why we're doing this video is to help you connect where everything is. Now let's take a look at the neighborhoods. Uh, let's focus on downtown first. Downtown is just a wonderful mix. You have your big classic historical homes. You have new, newer condo developments. You have tons of amazing restaurants and hangouts and coffee shops and locally owned stores on the pedestrian mall. You've got the Mission San Buenaventura. Just such a beautiful historic site. Because there are so many great restaurants in Ventura, we actually put together a handout of the best restaurants to go to and places to visit. So it's worth giving us a little phone call or an email if you wanted a copy of this. But I did want to mention like downtown um, pedestrian mall, there's the Cajun Cafe, which it's just great. And of Rice course- Rice by Mama. Yeah, Rice by Mama always. <laughs> Grandson <Yeah>. Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> They have the most wonderful espresso. It's like rocket fuel. I had an Americano there the other day and I was good to go. Light, fluffy <laughs> waffles, just really. Uh, yeah. These three different places we wanted to mention because they're so different from each other. In Ventura, you're going to be looking at different restaurants throughout the whole area, except for maybe Far East side, Satakoy area, it doesn't have that many restaurants. And the beauty of that pedestrian mall is because the streets are, the, the, that main street there is blocked off. You, there's lots of outdoor seating in the street essentially. So it, you can just totally chill out there, enjoy the perfect California weather and people watch and people bring their dogs. And it, it's one of the things that, that I think makes Ventura, it takes it to the next level as a small city. It's gotta be one of the best small city environments in the country. Yeah, also there's a lot of free parking. Uh, another thing about downtown, it's close to the Amtrak station, the fairgrounds, the raceway. Yeah, and, and so close to Surfers Point and the boardwalk and the pier. So it's in the hub of everything. You know, the upsides are, you're close to everything. You can walk to tons of things. And then some of that downside can be the traffic can get really congested at times. You have a choice of different marketplaces to go shopping to also. And then there's a farmer's market in the downtown pedestrian mall area right next to the mission. Another potential downside we saw during the recent rains is there were some more there were some parts that were more prone to flooding. And speaking of that flooding, um, going over to the west side now, that also has a flood, an area that's in the floodplains. Yeah, the west side is known for its art gallery. It's the art hub of Ventura. There's lots of different wonderful locally owned restaurants. There's a real mix of historic homes with Spanish style architecture. And then there's there's all the way up to newer developments with new construction, large homes on large lots. And the west side is removed from the rest of Ventura to the point that there's people who may have visited Ventura for a while that never have ventured over into the west side. Right, there are these beautiful murals and there's also the Bell Art Center. Yeah, that, the Bell Arts Factory. Yeah, Bell Arts Factory that uh, showcases a lot of different artists. So it's it has a kind of flair to it. Uh, and then moving over, we have the Hillside Homes and the Hillside Homes panoramic views. It's just yummy 
gorgeous views from there. And the homes are built on the hillside, so you're gonna have a lot of stairs and multi-level there. And because it's on the hillside, you're gonna have some wind hitting you also. Um, and it, it, They don't call it the hillside for nothing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because it really can be rather steep and feel uncomfortable. If you don't like driving on narrow roads uh, with steep drop-offs, you might not, you might not like enjoy living there, but. but there's, then, there's a couple of different streets where I'm just like, no, I'll, I'll go further down this huh. area. It's, it's not worth it to me. <laughs> but the, the home, there's custom homes there and, and the views from some of those homes are world-class. Right. And depending on what map and who you're talking to, the hillside can start all the way from the Sierra, Cro um, Sierra Cross and wrap around over to the east side and um, hit where, where the college neighborhood is and also Ponceria. But we really see them as a different area um, where the hillside is, is more on the hills that are facing the ocean in the downtown area and midtown, whereas the other um, hillside homes because they're on the hill, are facing more towards Oxnard. And you still get some ocean views there, but it just has a whole different feel. And the strong suit as well from that neighborhood is you're going to be walking distance into the downtown, into the pedestrian mall. You're super close to the Botanic Gardens, the Sarah Cross, just so much beauty. Uh, now let's move over to Midtown. Midtown's aptly named because it really is in the middle of everything. <laughs> from every direction you go from there, you have great options for things to do, restaurants, places to go, enjoyable activities. Such as you can go to the Grape and listen to jazz music, or right across the street is the Justies or the Bunker Theater. That's right in Midtown. <laughs> Town and along Main Street and Thompson Boulevard, you have tons of locally owned businesses, restaurants, coffee shops. There's the mall there. So there's so much right there. And then if you go south towards the beach, there's a biking trail that hooks you up with all the trails along the seaside. And then as you head west, you're in just minutes, you're right into the downtown area and the pedestrian mall. This is also the neighborhood that has the medical row in it. And so you have the hospital and you also have any of the little like medical centers. And you're, you're just a minute's walk to the community college, the high schools. As you go east, you have access to all the major shopping centers on the east side of Ventura. Uh, also still very close to the beach. And there is a section also that tends to flood a little bit too because it's coming down the hillside. A little bit of the drawback for this area is because it's the major hub, you're gonna have some some traffic in certain areas, but also it's close to the train track, so you're gonna be hearing the train as you would in also downtown and maybe a little bit on the west side. But if you're closer to the hospital, you're gonna be hearing the ambulance and sometimes might hear the helicopter because there is a helo pad there. However, the homes here are just really, the, it moves, it's like, you start off with the Spanish Historic District and then you're moving over and you have the more bungalow type homes and then you can get over to the custom homes and two-story homes that were built more recent. It, it's really a fun, eclectic area. The Montalvo area is the happening area too. I mean, all of that area just has a lot going on, as you can see. And this section is just, it's fast paced. I mean, it's almost- Lots of traffic. Yeah, you come in out of Oxnard or off of the freeway and there is just busyness. You are seeing cars going everywhere and people walking everywhere. And it is just bustling. And another thing about that area is the homes, like we talked about in our other video, it's like a salad spinner where somebody just went and thought, oh, let's put all the different types of homes here and just kind of spread them out everywhere. And so it, even how it's set up is a little bit different. So you might go into one subdivision and you're gonna have townhomes. And then behind that, you're gonna have condos and then apartments and then single family homes and then really custom nice single family homes. And then you leave and it's a busy street. And then there's manufactured homes. Oh yeah, and manufactured homes. There's- And a 55 plus community. Mm-hmm. 
and also a lot of shopping. Mm -hmm. Sprouts, Barnes & Noble, there's major shopping centers over there. The Ventura County Government Building is there. So there's a lot going on there. It's a little further removed from the beach, from the downtown, but you're really not that far away, maybe 15 minutes or so. Right, and another thing, it's really close to getting over to um, the collections over in Oxnard, and that's another place that people in Ventura like to go shopping. It has, it's another like outdoor mall and has Target and Whole Foods and national chain stores. Mm -hmm. It's right across the border <laughs> into Oxnard, but that is a major destination spot for shoppers from all over. Also, you can go over to Oxnard and see their beaches too. That's true. It is more, it is very accessible to Oxnard at that point and getting to the fantastic Oxnard beaches, which have a whole different feel, way slower pace. If you want to be more on your own with your dog or you know, just be out in the bliss of nature, that's what Oxnard is all about. And get away from all the tourism that happens to Ventura in the summer. But also if you want to get away from the tourism, there's another part of Ventura that you can visit too. But before we get to that, we're going to be talking about College. Another neighborhood aptly named the Ventura Community College is there. It's one of the, ranked as one of the top 20 community colleges in California. And not just that, it's the education hub. You're going to have two different high schools, some elementary schools. Wherever you go, there's going to be a school nearby. And sporting events, tons of sporting events over there. There's hiking at the Arroyo Verde Park, which connects to the neighborhood. And that's just a fabulous we park. We talked about that, talked yeah. About. <laughs> we, we just will continue. We want to talk about it more though. To talk about it, yes. Um, also, college area is a little more slow paced. So you had all of these faster paced areas and then you kind of hit to college town, I mean college neighborhood. And it's like, ah. Yeah, it has a more suburban feel to it, slower. Mm -hmm. And it might make somebody feel like, well, then I'm not close to everything, but it's really, you're just right down the street and you can go shopping at the Sprouts or Trader Joe's. There's also the Dudley Museum that's there and a lot of restaurants too, down that little strip. If you want to be in the heart of everything, you may not like the college neighborhood as much because there's not nearly the amount of restaurants, places to hang out, shopping, etc. Right, it is lower pay and people tend to move there and stay there because they're happy. <laughs> it's paradise. Right. Uh, speaking of paradise, we're going to go to Poinsettia next. So Poinsettia is the estate homes and it, like we've said before, it, it is paradise. You are looking at custom homes with panoramic views of the ocean, of the hillside, of Oxnard, of the, the islands. It, it's just beautiful and breathtaking. However, it was impacted a lot by the Thomas fires. And so you're going to have some lots that are empty and other homes mixed in with the older homes and mixed in with the newer homes and a hodgepodge. All along the foothill, hillsides areas of Ventura are going to be more prone to wildfires because essentially you're backed up right to the mountains there and there's nothing but wilderness going for a long ways <laughs> as you go north there. So. so each of these homes are supposed to have a sprinkler system in their attic or somewhere to make sure that if it if another fire happens or when another fire happens that it helps protect the area. Yeah, the fire department is out in that neighborhood doing inspections of lots, analyzing lots for the folks who live there so that they can try to prevent problems from happening. And that's all of the homes that are on the hillside, whether they're called hillside or college area, neighborhood or poinsettia. Mm -hmm. Now we're moving east to the Juana Maria, Sadikoy and West Sadikoy section of town on the east side of Ventura. And in this this area, you are really removed from everything. You don't even have, currently, you don't even have a shopping center. And it's not that they're not going to build one or anything else. It's just this area is being built up right now. There's newer homes. You can have homes with larger lots significantly. Mm -hmm. A lot of tract homes. So up until now, you have little pockets of different tract homes. So maybe built in the 50s and then in the 80s and then currently. Uh, but in this area, you're driving and it, it just reeks suburban. Um, not many restaurants in this area. Like we said, not a supermarket. Um, you're gonna be doing more driving if you want to get to shopping. 
Right. Because you're going to be heading west to the Midtown. <laughs> uh, you won't have tons of traffic here though because it's not a destination spot and you're not going to be competing with the tourists or anything else. All, but because of the agriculture, if it gets windy, you are dealing with some dust and some of the agricultural smell. Okay, save one of the most special neighborhoods for last and that is the Pierpont neighborhood. What you'll see here is it's cut off by it by the 101, so it's its own little island almost. And these homes are so special. They have dock homes and they have beach homes, mm -hmm. and you have that large park we talked about. They're right next to Marina Park. Right, and the, you have your own little neighborhood uh, restaurants and shopping center. Your your own island, and the people there are so happy because they're in such a special place that every but it's kind of smiling. And when they're walking around, they're talking to each other. But can you just imagine you have a dock home and you just open up the back of your house and you step up onto your dock and onto your deck and then walk down to your dock onto your paddleboard or your boat and you just go out into the ocean? Yeah, and you're, you're right next to the beach. You're right next to Ventura Harbor. You're still really close to Midtown, downtown. I mean, the location is exceptional. And at the same time, it feels removed from the city because it's split off there by the 101. And the other nice thing is, is that you're not gonna have all the traffic from the tourist seasons there. So those are, that's Ventura for you in a nutshell. We hope that it answered some of your questions and maybe even more. What is your favorite neighborhood in this area? And do you like the way we did this? It's a little different than we're used to. And we're just wondering, we want some input. Yes, we are real estate agents for sellers. We have a unique marketing advantage. Give us a call, we'll tell you about it. And buyers, we will help you find off-market listings. It's such a competitive market right now. It's good to have other avenues to find properties for sale before they get on the market.